All right, happy new year, or as happy as it can be, given this week's been really rather rubbish. Ah, <sighs> speaking of rather rubbish, do you see there is a lack of rum and a lack of Lego? But there's something hiding behind the glass, something I'm quite, quite afeard of. I want to put things off as best I can, so um, for those of you who missed out on Christmas, let's have a couple of chokes. Because, really, oh, I know what's behind that glass, and this is going to be the highlight of this video. Why do bicycles fall over? Because they are too tired. And that is still better than what's behind the glass. Why did the man keep doing the backstroke? Because he just ate and didn't... I'm not even going to finish that one. Wow. Cracker jokes are so bad, I'm actually going to do the big reveal. Do you know what it is? Because I didn't. I got um, some baby sham. And I was like, oh, yay, baby sham. Nostalgic kick brilliant. To get the baby sham I had to also get this which I'd never heard of and the light isn't going to let me or the camera Pony Cream British Sherry. Apparently the tagline is the little drink with the big kick and you're thinking so what he's just got a random bottle of tiny bottle of bad cheap sherry. No, this seems to have been made between the late 60s and maybe mid 80s. Pony was around. I'm going to guess that this is from the 1980s. So you're looking at 30 plus year old, dreadful, synthetic, cheap British sherry. And I, <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm going to try it. Reluctantly. Can you tell I'm still stalling? Because I said to myself I was going to do this. I, I looked around and I thought, you know what, what the hell, let's see what it's like. And if I'm going to drink it, I might as well video my almost certain sherry toxic death. <laughs> oh, the trepidation is actually... I, okay, shall we talk about the bottle? Can we talk about the bottle? It's small. <laughs> it's got a liquid in it that still looks liquidy I don't see any civilizations growing in there can't be sure there aren't any ah it, it's um it's got that funky foil top that you don't see anymore and it's it's got a label on the front that tells us it is pony cream British sherry from the pony wine company Shepton Mallet Somerset there's no label on the back. You can't see the label anyway. Let's try and get this nearer the camera. New camera. So now we have to blame the cameraman. Uh, it doesn't say how strong it is. It doesn't say how much of it there is. And it doesn't say when it was made. And all of this scares me. But look, there's a little picture of a pony on the top. I'm going to keep saying pony. As uh, <laughs> was a nostalgia critic who said, every time you say pony you've got a thousand views. Well I wonder how many people are going to watch me die from drinking pony. Yeah. All right, let's open it. I have another one. If this goes well, yay. If it goes badly, oh my god. <sighs> I sort of feel this is sacrilege, opening something this old and rare, because I, <laughs> I just don't want to do this. Um, because I can't find much out about this other than it seems to have been the Alco Pop of its day. <sighs> oh, sod it. Here goes. Oh, nothing exploded. Okay. Can't smell anything from here. Let's look inside there to start with. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the camera can sort of see that. I'm not convinced that's a good sign. Oh, oh, that smells of rot. Mouldy rot. Mmm. 
When I say drink this, I might mean vomit copiously. I think it's going to be more of a taste than an actual drink. Um, and I, I don't mind sherry. It's not one of my favourite drinks. But I can live with it. The cream one's fairly sweet. It's not bad. It's fortified, so one would hope the alcohol would keep this from turning into some sort of mutant death juice. Yeah. Alright. Actually, the top smells revolting. This just smells weak. It's got a hint of sherry smell to it. My nose hasn't fallen off. Okay, here we go. I am quite scared of that. Oh, no, there it is. I was about to say, I'm quite scared of that because it tastes okay. Now, I've never had pony before, but... Mmm. It tastes okay, but the aftertaste is a bit like... How can I describe? If you've ever had something go really off, sort of like furry and stuff, and, and there's that juice that seems to run off the fur. Um, the aftertaste is a bit like that smell. It's like, like something left to die in the corner of an old shed. Mmm. I don't know. I'm not convinced I should have any more of this. But... Mmm. No. No, my throat closed up at the attempt. So, um, yeah. <laughs> you will all be shocked to hear that cheap synthetic concentrate nasty sherry doesn't keep well over the course of 30 or more years. Oh, oh now I need rum. And Lego, but rum. Frighteningly, <laughs> I also have for another time Champers, Casalerio, Casalerio, Rosé. <coughs> There's an unopened one of these. It's going to stay that way. I opened the wrong one, really, didn't I? Because the label on this one's tattier, and somebody somewhere might want to try Death from Sherry. Um, hmm. And this is the one that frightens me the most. Royal Wedding. Was it Royal Brew? Royal Wedding Lager, um, extra strong, 29th of July. Well, if the sherry hasn't killed me by then, I might do that on that day. And dry baby sham. Do you remember when you could get baby sham in sweet and dry, blue and green? There you go. But given how the sherry came out, I don't think I'm going to. <sighs> So we have a rum. There was going to be no rum, because this is not a Lego video. However, um, yeah, this isn't, this isn't a celebratory rum. This isn't a commiseratory rum. This is a medicinal rum in hope that the distilled alcohol kills <laughs> whatever the hell I've just swallowed from that sherry. Mm. Seriously. Don't try this at home, and never ever try this anywhere.